I was out in the garden today and my peppercini peppers were all ready to be picked. So the first thing I do is I put a slit in the bottom. Well, this one got really big. Look how big that one is. <laughs> and then drop them in your jar. You want the slit in there so that brine can get up in there and make that pepper just taste yummy. Peppercini peppers typically come with pizzas sometimes and uh, they're so good as an addition to the meal just to munch on they're wonderful we love peppercini peppers and we started these this year from the seeds from our peppercini peppers last year we didn't start them inside we started them right in the, in the ground we wasn't sure if we were if it was going to work or not and it worked beautifully type of thing that you can do and it doesn't take a big garden it doesn't take um, any fancy kind of uh, equipment or anything like that uh, just good old pepper plant in a jar we're gonna need another jar has anybody else pickled uh, pepper scenes and if you did uh, let me see your jars take a picture of your jar and show me so in my pan here I have to bring to boil I have four cups of white vinegar four cups of water one fourth cup of sugar, two tablespoons of sea salt, one tablespoon of ground coriander. If you have coriander seed, that's probably better. I didn't have coriander seed, so I just used my ground coriander. And I put in one tablespoon of red pepper flakes and put in some garlic cloves. It really should be probably about two or three. I think I have about eight in there because we really like the garlic. So you pretty much spice it the way you like. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, we're back. I boiled this for about three minutes. Now I'm gonna add it into these jars. At this point, what you wanna do is because you split your peppers, there's gonna be a lot of bubbles and you may need to add some more liquid. So you just kinda of wanna tap it easily, not very hard, but just tap it and give it the opportunity to fill them peppers up with that juice. There we go, there we go, okay. So these little gizmos is what I use for making my sauerkraut. But see how it pushes all the peppers down to where they're in the liquid. And so that's what we want. Okay, so both, both jars have the peppers beneath the vinegar. And these really need to sit for a couple of weeks. I will put these in the refrigerator. In our house, they won't last very long. We eat um, them with almost every meal. I will put the recipe in the comments. Um, please let me see if you do this, show me how you did it. You may have a better way to do it. You may have a better recipe. Share it with me. I love to learn. Okay, take care. We'll catch you next time. God bless.